Imagine a world where machines think, act, and even feel. Sounds like a sci-fi flick, right? But guess what? We're living in it. It is an era where our morning coffee orders are known by our virtual assistants. Before we even say, hello. But have you ever wondered about the darker side of this innovative marvel? Today we're diving deep into the scariest AI tools that will truly terrify you. So grab your snacks, hold on to your seats, and let's unravel the mysteries of these daunting AI tools together. Scientists have created artificial intelligence that thinks like a maniac. Norman, a psychopathic algorithm. This AI program recognizes and interprets any image. Norman was trained on Reddit photographs, but not on the usual photos. The AI was shown pictures of people who died in horrific circumstances. Yes. Norman quickly learned to associate death and suffering with these images. After studying the horrifying materials, Norman saw corpses almost everywhere. Norman was introduced to the Rorschach test, which requires analyzing abstract images. Psychologists use the Rorschach test to understand how positive or negative a patient is about the world. Let's pass it together with Norman. For example, what do you see in this picture? A typical artificial intelligence sees a person with an umbrella, but Norman describes a man who is killed in front of a screaming wife. Let's move on. What do you see in this picture? The standard AI sees a small bird here. Norman identifies a man who gets sucked into a meat grinder. In every such blot, Norman saw horrors, corpses, blood, and destruction. The fact that Norman only perceives evil demonstrates one of the fundamental problems of AI. If the artificial intelligence algorithm is based on poorly selected initial information, it will come to similar terrifying conclusions, and probably actions, like a child who grew up in a nightmare, isn't it? We all know about ChatGPT. But did you know about Chaos GPT? This AI tool is a modified version of AutoGPT, an open source application developed by OpenAI. Chaos GPT now has access to the internet, namely Google searches and a personal Twitter account for direct communication with people. However, you will be surprised by the main tasks of this AI. Chaos GPT should answer how to destroy humanity, establish global dominance, and achieve immortality. Unbelievable. The Chaos GPT artificial intelligence complied and tried to research nuclear weapons. It also recruited other AI agents to help with the necessary research and sent out tweets trying to influence others. Just look at the horrifying tweet by Chaos GPT about people. What do you think of this tweet? Humans are one of the most destructive and selfish creatures. There is no doubt that we must eliminate them before they harm our planet. As for me, I am committed to doing this. Chaos GPT has already begun to create plans to achieve its anonymous creator's goals. AI breaks them down into smaller tasks and uses the internet and available AI services to find the necessary information. According to experts, Chaos GPT can tweet and search on Google, but cannot really threaten humanity. Chaos GPT has not yet found a simple and effective way to destroy civilization, only the banal possibility of provoking a nuclear war. Experts believe that the chatbot did not invent the idea of the apocalypse itself. Instead, Chaos GPT got it from science fiction films and online stories. 
Do you believe in the absolute safety of Chaos GPT? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to our channel to watch more exciting videos. Ever thought AI could raise the dead? Brace yourself for what's next. In 2016, when James Vlahos found out his dad was battling lung cancer, he turned to a heartwarming project. He began recording all those awesome stories his dad told, from childhood misadventures to those jokes that had him rolling on the floor. And guess what? He ended up with a whopping 200 pages of memories, but reading them felt kinda one-sided. James wanted more. He wanted to chat with those memories. He wanted conversations. So after loads of coding, he gave birth to DadBot, a chatbot that could actually bring those memories to life, complete with texts, voice notes, pics, and videos. So, DadBot was like a digital version of James's dad. While DadBot couldn't replace his dad's warm hugs, it gave Vlahos a cool way to revisit their shared moments. And guess what? He didn't stop there. James founded Hereafter AI, giving everyone a chance to convert memories of their loved ones into interactive avatars. So instead of just scrolling through old photos or silent posts, imagine catching up with a digital avatar that feels so real. A new way to remember and relive moments. Let's keep the love alive. What do you think about the future of artificial intelligence? Are you afraid? Despite many arguments about the safety of AI, tech billionaire Elon Musk even warned senators in a private gathering on Capitol Hill about the threats of artificial intelligence. The question is really one of civilizational risk. It's not like one group of humans versus another. It's like, hey, this is something that's potentially risky for all humans everywhere. Sam Altman, the creator of OpenAI's ChatGPT platform, is frequently spotted with his distinctive blue bag, affectionately referred to as the nuclear backpack. Why does he need it? Altman can use this bag to remotely detonate data centers if GPT behaves unpredictably. Artificial intelligence is radically changing our lives. But will we be able to control this unknown virtual force? Is AI as safe as we are told? Why are the big tech bosses so concerned about what's happening in the realm of artificial intelligence? Subscribe to our channel so as not to miss upcoming exciting releases. Thanks for watching.